All right, good morning. It is uh, Tuesday morning, week 96. Like I said, I'm just gonna be working out with the X3 on Tuesdays and Thursdays, probably for the next week or so, till I get down a routine with the uh, ground program that I'm doing. I still have been doing my animal flow every morning. Um, I've been getting better at it. I've actually added time today to the program, um, added another uh, round, um, getting more confident. I mean, I'm telling you, I just finished. Uh, I did what three rounds. I did uh, six, uh, two exercises, two times each, so six, six different exercises, and I went 30 seconds, and then I went uh, 50 seconds, and then I went a minute. So I did three rounds. No, no, 40 seconds, 50 seconds, and a minute. So I did three rounds. Um, static B, uh, traveling B, static crab, traveling crab, and then I did the uh, the eight position. I did it twice, and I'll show you on Friday what I'm doing because that position was terrible when I did it. But I'm telling you, I've noticed, man, I can just feel it in my shoulders, my my triceps, my chest, everything from sitting, holding those positions, and your core, your everything, just locking out and holding those positions, static positions. Whew, I am sweating underneath this thing. And yes, it is, um, we are in California, and it is June, and it's supposed to be sunny and hot, but we've got a storm moving through. So who knew that California is now the storm capital? So it shouldn't rain today, though. They said there might be a slight chance of rain. It is a little chilly and windy out here. But I do have a sweat going from my ground animal program, and I'm going to get going with the X3 here. So the program today is a standard X3, chest press, overheads, triceps, uh, calves, and I'm done. And then I'm gonna do my hanging uh, program from the pull-up bar. I have been feeling so much better doing the hanging. My grip's gotten a lot stronger. Uh, I just feel so much stronger hanging from that, from that program. I've actually upped the time on that also. I do uh, five rounds of 30 seconds and then I do uh, five rounds of 45 seconds. So I'm upping the time hanging on that. Um, feeling better, feeling stronger doing that. And then we'll finish off with the, uh, with the dip bar, with the, uh, the stretch and then the lockout. Working on those also. That'll be the finish with the loaded stretching program after the X3 program. So we're back today. We're getting our X3 on. So let's get ready to go. Oh, yeehaw. About this time every Tuesday, I get to listen to the uh, the yard crew coming in next door and doing the backyard of my neighbors. <laughs> so we're going to start off with the black band. We're just doing 10, 10, 12 presses just to get the body activated before we really start the program. Black band. This is the serious steel. Black band. Going to set it up. See I'm coming all the way in. All right, that was that was ten. Let's bring it all the way in getting a good stretch and I was taking it almost to lock out and I was kind of holding it there getting that static you know just flexing the muscles just holding it there and just feeling it and then slowly coming back in getting a good stretch going out slowly almost to lock out but not to lock out keeping the muscles engaged instead of using your ligaments and tendons and bones whoo all right we're gonna do some yellow band next all right we got the yellow band See how this goes um doing the animal moves it really takes a lot of work a lot of strain sweating a lot of muscle movement a lot of static press and holding the position so we'll see how it feels after doing a good workout with the uh, with the animal move
16. I felt really, actually really good with that. Especially towards the end, when that lockout. Not so much locking out, but just getting to the end and holding that static at the end from doing those moves that I've been doing on the ground and holding those positions locked in. Actually, that's a good benefit. I like that. Whew. All right, we got some overheads. And I know my shoulders are already kind of wrecked from doing a lot of those moves. I can feel a lot of that in my shoulders. So I'm looking forward to this. All right, next up is overhead press with the blue band for serious steel. It's the same as the light gray band for the X3. I know that obviously working with those animal moves and everything, it's gonna be a lot of headstands, handstands that I really wanna move, really wanna work on. Obviously getting a lot of those eight moves where you're going down and obviously start working on some overhead, you know, some presses, <laughs> some standing on my head, on my hands. That's what I really, really wanna work on, work on those skills. So with this, I'm really gonna be thinking about concentrating on just putting a lot of that into the shoulders and just really kind of holding that at the top and getting a lot of that strain into the shoulders while I'm doing this. I was 20. I was trying to really try to get to the top and holding that, pressing and holding that position, putting all it straight into the shoulders as much as I could. After doing about 40 minutes of uh, the animal moves on the ground and putting a lot of strain in the shoulders, whew, you know, a lot of energy left, but that's what I'm trying to do with the X3 right now is do the animal moves first and then come out here and just finish grinding the muscles off with the X3. Getting it to fatigue and then uh, we're gonna take another day and we'll do animal moves tomorrow with no X3. I'll move again on Thursday and we'll finish with X3. Whew. 
Whew. All right, break time because we got triceps coming up. All right, next up, triceps. I've been using my timer for a break in between. I've been doing about two and a half minutes of break in between. So triceps, same thing I always do, the press downs or the skull crushers or whatever. But all the moves that I've been doing over there on the animal flow have required your triceps in all those positions. When you're locked out in the crab position, that tricep is really activated. When you're down in the beast position and your arms locked out, that triceps really activated. Especially when you're doing the ape and you're going forward and you're putting your arms out and you're locking yourself and you're putting your body on, obviously on top of your shoulders, stacking your body on top of your shoulders, a lot of tricep. So, interested to see how much tricep I have left for this morning. This is a serious steel black band. Wow, really slowed those reps down. And I wanted to feel the whole range of motion, especially since all I've been using my arm is in that locked out position with the triceps, <sighs> totally engaged. So now I wanted to feel the whole tricep move. <sighs> that was good, I like it. Whew. All right, the last X3 for today calves with the green band from serious steel which is the same as the dark gray i like that because i can actually get more a lot more reps that i can get into the higher end zone and really hold that peak and really squeeze at the top where the black band after you start getting fatigued you really can't get to the top of that zone i want to hold that zone for as long as i can keeping that peak at the top and really squeezing it so that's why i like staying with this band right now Only got 40 with that today. What I like to do while I'm out with the wife or just stand around the house and just here stand there. I just like to come up onto my toes, stand there on my toes and just hold that position for as long as you can. Just actively. 
throughout the day, just coming up on your toes, standing there, peeking those biceps, really squeezing them hard while you're just standing there. A lot of times when we're out shopping, because I have to take my wife shopping everywhere because she's disabled, and I am bored as hell while she's looking at whatever she's looking at, I'll just stand over there and just, boom, holding on to the shopping cart. And I'll just stand there and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And I'll just do that throughout the day. I really trying to work on the calves a lot. So I do get a lot of work with those. And obviously, doing the animal flow moves, you're using your legs, your quads, your hip, you're using everything while you're doing those moves. Especially when you're down in that eight position. And I have not quite got the ankle flexibility yet to have my fleet feet flat. So I'm still up on my toes. So there's a lot of engagement there for your calves. All right, so I'm going to do my hangs and my dips, and I'm going to do, to finish this off, the loaded stretchy part, I'm gonna do five regular hangs, pronated, and then I'm gonna do five inverted chin-up hangs, all for 30 seconds, and then I will do the, the dips, I'll do the lockout dip and just hold it for 30 seconds, and then I'll do the stretch dip and hold it for 30 seconds for five rounds for those. So I'm probably gonna go back and forth each time, so I'll do 10 total reps, and that's gonna be the end of the workout. All right, I finish off today's workout. We're doing hangs, obviously, front and back. We're gonna do 10, and we're gonna do 30 seconds each, and I'm just gonna switch back and forth on those. Kind of an abbreviated hanging day to day because I am also doing the X3 in here. So when I'm just doing the animal flow and the hanging, I get the full 10 of each hanging. The first one is just kind of a plain hang. Just let everything stretch, engage the core a little bit, and just let everything just stretch down. Now I'm gonna do the inverted, and I have not done those for 30 seconds. I've done 15 seconds of those, so we'll see how this goes. And the same thing with this, I just wanna stretch it out and get the body along. I'm gonna do obviously 10 of those, five front and five back, and then I'll see you back here when I'm done because this is boring. I know you don't wanna watch this, and I wanna get back to listen to some Joe Satriani. So I'll see you when I'm done. Whoo, all right. Who just finished the hangs? I'm telling you, ooh, that really gets your grip going. <laughs> Especially when you're doing the chin up hangs, you're just hanging on your fingers starting to get some calluses in here from hanging on that thing. So I'm gonna have to start working on those calluses because you don't want those calluses ripping off. So you wanna file them down, sand them down, get some toenail clippers and trying to clip them down a little bit. You don't want big calluses. Kind of like when you when you use the kettlebells and you're swinging, you don't want calluses on your hand because you're swinging that kettlebell and next thing you know, ripping that callus off and you're bleeding all over your kettlebell. Not good, same thing with this. So I'm have to work on the callus right here. It's getting kind of prominent. So. I did uh, 10 straight and then 10, no, five and five, so 10 total. It kind of abbreviated on the uh, loaded portion today because obviously because I did the animal flow, I did the X3. 
And now we're going to do the static press in the stand, and then we'll do the big stretch at the end. And then the last thing, obviously, I'll, is I want to get the load stretch on my calves, which I'll go in on the uh, pavement in there, and I'll just grab a kettlebell and I'll just do 30 seconds on each one for 10 rounds, so five on each leg, and just get a big stretch on each one of those. So I'll start off with the first one, show you the first one here. Basically, it's gonna hold a static lockout position for 30 seconds, take a break, and then we're gonna get into the stretch position and hold that with the knees off the ground, not touching the ground, getting a really big stretch on that. And then I'll go back to listen to Joe Satriani while I finish the round. It's always and always the first one right here doing this it always feels good and strong try to pick the knees up engage my core some more get more core engagement Okay, now, that's always the one that always feels good. And then towards the end, you're, you're shaking and you're just trying to hold anything for those last couple seconds. All right, now comes the stretch part. We're gonna get a big stretch. The drop down, knees right above the ground, keeping everything not touching the ground and just putting all the load into that chest and shoulders. That one is always the easy one <laughs> and they get harder as they go but that's a hell of a heck of a stretch man that's a big stretch in your shoulders and your chest so we're gonna listen to some joe satrani while we finish this out all right just finished the last one on the static press and then the static stretch oh my gosh I thought I was done when I hit the eighth round. I'm like, oh, I'm done. I looked over and I'm like, I got two more rounds. Oh shit. I'm telling you, like I said, the first one that you do, you're locked in. And by the time you get to that last rep, you're just, your whole body is shaking. And then obviously when you get in that big stretch position, I actually gets to the point where I started out hovering above the ground and it got to the point where my toes were just touching the ground, get a big stretch. And I was, what I was trying to do is, is as I would breathe into it, kind of flex a little bit, flex, stretch. Flex, stretch, flex, getting that big stretch in that muscle right here. I'm glad I only do this one once a week because whew, I'm gonna feel it tomorrow. Not, not that I did anything bad. I was stretching with the body weight, but it was just holding that stretch position, flexing, stretch, flexing, relax. <sighs> I can already tell actually that uh, the animal program has actually benefited me greatly. The mobility, the agility, uh, especially in the hips, especially in the core, uh, it's actually making me actually use my muscles for a lot more than just pushing rubber bands. It's making my muscles work in different directions and actually having to engage them in those positions. Hanging from the pull-up bar has been freaking fantastic. I love that I'm getting stronger. My grip is getting stronger. My pull-up is getting stronger. I'm not in a rush to do pull-ups. I'm not in a big hurry to start jacking out pull-ups. I wanna get that down here at the bottom, totally strong to where I'm just hanging there and I can just switch hands and I can do whatever. And I'm feeling very good in that position before I really start doing a pull up. So it's gonna be a little while. I really wanna work on that hanging position, feeling comfortable in the hang. With this right here, who I'm telling you, man, especially after doing animal, doing your presses and then doing it at the end, that static. Statics are something that, I know Dr. J doesn't talk about that, but I'm telling you, it really, really helps you a lot. Uh, especially obviously in the ground positions when you're down there and you're, you're locked out and you have to use all of your core muscles to hold yourself into that position or to move in those positions. It takes a lot more than just pushing some rubber bands 
to uh, to get strong in those positions. And my core has has increased exponentially in the past couple weeks. I can really feel it when I get some of uh, this uh, beer and uh, you know taco fat burned off a little bit more. Hopefully, you'll be able to see some. But I'm feeling very good for, with, with where I'm at right now. Um, I'm going to finish up because I'm going to go take it. It's starting to rain just a little bit, a little some sprinkles out here. So I'm going to take stuff inside and then I'm going to finish off with the calf exercises, which is taking the, the 32 pound kettlebell with one leg at a time and just stretching the calf for 30 seconds each, 30 you know back and forth like I just did with the uh, with the pull ups and with the uh, with the dip stand. That's today's X3 mobility agility program. I didn't show you the animal program because I will show you at the end of the week uh, a full program of what I've been working on and you will see how much better I've gotten since last week, how horrible I was and I am terrible and I'm still terrible, but I'm learning and every time I'm learning more, uh, I'm learning more about my body, I'm learning more about uh, my mobility, uh, about my strength, um, I feel so much better. I want to be able to do cartwheels and handstands and some of those things I see people doing I know I'm you know a little bit older and I'm not as mobile and agility agile as a, as a 20 year old who can do some of that crazy stuff but I at least want to be able to try and do some of that stuff and I think I'll I think I'll get there I know I will get there that's what I'm working on right now so those are a skill that I'm working on that's why I want to do those first before I come out here to the x3 and I totally burn myself out tomorrow is just gonna be animal program on the ground and then I'll come out here and I'll do my pull-up hangs and then that will be uh, basically it for the day give my body a rest especially after doing all this stretching and everything I just did after doing the x3 so that's it um, thanks for showing up everybody um, we'll see you back here on Thursday when we do our animal flow our pulling exercises and then we'll finish off with our hangs our loaded stretches so animal flow x3 and then loaded stretches at the end and uh, we're getting better every day so I will see you back here on Thursday. Have a good uh, have a good day.